Hello, Anatomy and Physiology. We are here to go over a quick concept map for you before you take your test. Um, and you can get all that stuff filled out. I don't want to take too much of your time. So let's start here. Um, we start off here with the major organs or structures of our urinary system. So we have your ureters, which is what connects your kidney to the bladder. And remember, peristalsis is what pushes urine through. We have the urethra, which is what allows urine to exit your body from your bladder. Um, in females, it's much shorter than in males because in males it goes through their reproductive structure. Uh, then we've got our urinary bladder made up of transitional epithelial, so it stretches. And then the main, all of these are very, very simple structures. The one that we focused mostly on was the kidney um, because it has that very, very, very important job of getting our wastes out. So um, first of all, where it's located in the body is on the back side of that abdominal cavity. And so we call that, um, it's retroperitoneal, excuse me, uh, that's what that'll be there. Um, the structure of the kidney, it has an outer structure and inner structure. You will see a picture of a uh, kidney and identifying parts of it on the test. Um, the cortex is that outer layer. And although we looked at a juxtamedullary kidney, ones that fall in the medulla, most nephrons are actually in the cortex, the outer portion of it, where all of those blood vessels are on the outside. But 85% of them fall in the cortex. Um, the um, other 15% are in the medulla, which is the inner portion. It has the pyramids um, and then those sections that drain the urine that's collected, which is the renal pelvis. Not very much for you to know on the renal pelvis. Um, so as I said, the location of your kidney in the body is it's retroperitoneal, meaning it's towards the back side of the abdomen. And our basic unit of structure and function of the kidney is the nephron. The nephron, that's the thing that does all of our filtering for us. All right, so then and we'll get more into the nephron here below. Um, jumping over to our functions of the urinary system, um, it excretes waste, okay? In particular, nitrogenous waste, which are waste that contain nitrogen that um, are toxic to our body. So those things that you would expect to find in normal healthy urine would be ammonia, urea, Reic acid and creatine. Those are all byproducts of our natural body's metabolism. We need to get rid of them because they're toxic to our body. So our nephrons filter that out. Um, so the other things that it does for us is osmoregulation, meaning regulating our water content in our body. So if we have too much water, we urinate out more and your urine will be more diluted. Um, or if you haven't had a lot of water to drink, your body's going to conserve water, and so you'll urinate less um, water out. And so the main hormones that control this osmoregulation is antidiuretic hormone, ADH. That job is to make sure you conserve water. So if something is inhibiting ADH like caffeine or alcohol, um, you're going to urinate more often. Um, so coffee drinkers, okay, after their first cups of coffee, they oftentimes have to go to the restroom because um, ADH is inhibited and you're excreting out a lot of water. So if you are a coffee drinker, you need to drink lots of water. Same deal with alcohol and that causes dehydration and hangovers because alcohol inhibits ADH. All right. Um, the other hormone is aldosterone, which is part of that ran in angiotensin II system, um, not important, you know those details, but do know that aldosterone um, encourages sodium reabsorption, so your salt. Now, water tends to follow salt, so when you absorb sodium, you also then in turn absorb some more water, and so that all comes back to this osmoregulation. Um, it also is really important for your electrolyte balance, so salt, Right? And so making sure that we excrete out excess salts, but also absorb in those that are um, we're lacking. Right? And then finally, um, pH regulation, which we'll get into here on the next slide. So regulating your pH is really important. And we didn't talk very much about buffers. We wrote it down on one of the slides, but um, the main buffer that buffers the acid 
in our bloodstream, we know as bicarbonate, that's that H um, Rio that we've been writing down recently. <clears throat> Um, so bicarbonate, his job is to attach to loose hydrogen ions and it neutralizes them. Um, and it's really good at keeping pHs nice and stable. So we want to make sure that our bloodstream has bicarbonate in it. And it is keeping our blood at a healthy pH, which is blood slightly alkaline, around 7.35 to 7.45. That wouldn't be a terrible thing to write down, okay? Your blood is slightly alkaline, basic, whereas your urine, because we're pulling out the acid, hydrogen ions, it tends to be more acidic. So your kidneys make sure that your blood is not too acidic. If your blood is too acidic, it's called acidosis. And if your blood is too alkaline, sorry, my little thing's covering it up, it's alkaliosis. Those two terms aren't on your test, but you want your urine pH to be slightly acidic, usually around a six, um, but you want your blood to be slightly alkaline, um, just ever so slightly at around a 7.35. That's normal and healthy. All right, so going back to our structure of our nephron here, um, there's main um, parts of it that do different important jobs. So the first stage of our nephron is that glomerulus and the Bowman's capsule. And it does the function of filtration, basically forcing everything that's small enough out of your bloodstream. So what ends up in filtrate is almost exactly what's in your plasma of your blood minus protein. Maybe the protein is too big to get filtered out. Unless maybe there's pregnancy, could be some other things, could be damage to the kidney that would cause those things to get filtered out. Um, then you have the um, proximal collecting tubule that's closer to the Bowman's capsule. Um, this is where reabsorption happens. So um, your bloodstream is going to take out all the good stuff that you filtered out. Amino acids, glucose, the good stuff goes back in during the reabsorption. And then um, the distal collecting tubule is secretion. So your bloodstream like drugs and toxins that maybe didn't get filtered out, they get secreted out, excess water or um, maybe salts or some things like that will get secreted. And when I'm talking about secretion, I'm talking about out of blood into the nephron um, and reabsorption right, is where we're talking about the blood, like what's reabsorbing, it's the bloodstream is reabsorbing, what's secreting, the bloodstream is secreting, just to be clear there. All right, and then the last part on um, there is the loop of Henle that dips down. And the main point here is that this is where water gets reabsorbed into your bloodstream. It's nice and long so we can conserve as much water as possible because water tends to follow salt um, just naturally. That's all for our very quick review. Uh, I'm going to post an additional video from Crash Course um, that's just around 10 minutes. It's a great just like a summation of a lot of this stuff. Um, might be really helpful to watch right before your test. Make sure you have all your homework done before you take your test. Every single question you've seen before if you've done your homework. So um, there shouldn't be very many surprises there, or at least like a form of a question. I might have changed the format slightly, but that would be about it. Um, the most important ones probably are the ones that there was ones that said like recap okay, of your information. And then, there, then, of course, as always, the practice quiz and review. Um, good luck. Uh, make sure and submit your test before 5 p.m. Um, in order to make sure that it gets scored. And to access your test, you need to go to your school email account, which I've linked information on how to log in, just a regular ID and password. So nothing special there. All right, you guys, good luck. Message me with any questions, comments, or concerns. And um, I'll be posting later today our um, end of the year schedule.